Right folks, I'm up on skirting Rowbury Warren like I said. I've just had to help a group of students who are very happy, the happiest bunch of students I've ever seen hiking around this area. They were singing, they had a bit of music, nothing too bad. A lovely happy tutor with them, two happy tutors and um, they were letting the younger ones try and find the way, but they did get a bit lost, so I gave them, I was allowed to give them a bit of help, right? Because they were looking for Tinian's farm. They were on the right route originally, this one. I mean, I'm going on this route because it, there it does bits of shade now and again, whereas where they've gone up there, it's totally exposed, but there will be the odd tree. I also met, I don't know if they were Germans or Norwegians, I'm not sure, a couple probably my age who were totally lost. I'd seen them earlier over near the fort. They were studying the map then and they were trying to get to Burrington Coombe and I, I've, I've, I sent them on the right direction. So they were happy. They were roaming about in there. It's only by exploring, if you haven't got a lot of time, then you can't always do it now. That's why I've made an effort to come up here on different occasions to explore different routes. Now I've been up this one before but I've already done quite a lot of exploring today but there's still areas in there I've yet to do but I've done the main pathways inside there. They've got still got quite a lot of walking to do uh, those students. They've got to go to Tining's farm for some reason. Whether they have a picnic there, I don't know. Because they've still got they still got to walk across yet to Burrington Coombe. But the thing is, they are fit and young. But normally, I see very worried-looking young people, very tired. Now that lot didn't have loads of gear. They didn't have loads and loads of gear. I noticed that as well. They weren't dressed in anoraks either. So maybe they were lighter. I can hear them now. They're probably having a rest by that big tree. Yeah, I can see people in there. They're resting by that big tree. Getting a bit of shade. You might need to go to the loo and that sort of thing. That's like a little oasis, little old oasis there, see? The guides will know that he, knew, he knows this place backwards, but he's given them opportunities to test their map skills and that. And of course, you, if, you, if you go wrong, then um, you learn when I do it. Sometimes you find a unique route when you're going the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, they've got a little bit of music. I mean, if it helps them, they enjoy it. I'm sure the plants aren't going to mind too much. So here we are then, skirting, going up hill again, and we're entering a bit of shade now. The, the sun is going round a bit now. So, although I wasn't going to do a lot of videoing, I thought I'd be covering similar ground. I've taken completely different routes. So the whole of this walk, really, most of it, Okay, the hill fort, which I haven't done with this camera until today, and I still didn't do it thoroughly. Um, the hill fort. <sighs> Bit of it, but I didn't go down through the valley where the streams were. Once again, I'm videoing, I'm a bit laboured in breathing. I have had a bit of tightness today. That's partly because I'm eating on the move. I get indigestion. <sighs> the 
see, this would have been, in many ways, this would have been a better route. If they'd taken this sh sh uh, shielded route. So they still got to go up, see? I've done that route. I've done it in the heat. I have done it. Yeah, they gotta really they gotta head up. And they're not on what I call the parade yet. See even I've gotta go up, look. See that? See that there, that hill that track there, that's all uphill. But I'll be avoiding it by staying in here. Skirting the trees. That's the most exposed bit really up there. They should have come along here really. I did say they could this is a shadier route. But none of them could understand me. I think they're Spanish. So I couldn't understand a word I was saying, apart from the English um tutor and um or guide and another English and Spanish woman who could speak. They understood me, but they looked at me vague when I was trying. They were so surprised to see me as well when I emerged. What is this lady doing on her own in the trees? You know, a lot of people still find it hard to believe. But it shouldn't be. I was born in this country. I love it here. And uh, I love the trees that are giving me so much beautiful oxygen as well. And of course my videos send people to sleep. It's like a story they can put on before bed. I have been up here a lot. I do tend to do a lot of the mendips in the summer. And I do Draycott's lights, pretty wells, all around that way in the winter. <sighs> all right, I'm going to turn off, take some pictures now. <sighs>